morning <sighs> so i just woke up i'm on day eight of my quarantine because like, even though i've been home for like a week like i haven't really had like an amazing sleep since i've been home there's these fucking cats that keep waking me up outside my house in the middle of the night i was like i'm gonna film my morning routine so i slept for like 11 hours that's when I just like know my body's like chill. First thing I did use this. So I like use this first thing like before you brush your teeth, anything, and just like I I already did it, but that that's basically what you do. So I did that. I splashed my face with cold water. I changed into like comfy comfy clothes. I drank a big glass of water and took my two probiotics. So I've been taking these for honestly like two months now so they're great. I'll link it to in the description if you want to check it out. Um, helps get everything going. Okay so now what I'm doing I don't normally look at my phone, but an app. So I'm going on the Melissa Wood Health app and I'm gonna do my meditation. So I haven't even like looked at my phone, like gone through anything. So that's like my biggest tip is like, get off your phone for like the first 30 minutes of your day and like, you'll be good. And by f getting off your phone, I mean like social media. Like I don't even have any notifications turned on. So I'm literally just going on the app and then I love her. I'm gonna do 15 minute meditation to align and anchor. So I literally just do it in my bed like this. I get like super comfy. love Melissa Wood like I'm obsessed with her I'm gonna do some journaling so I honestly just like chill I have my pen look how cute this pen is I usually don't like quotes but like it says good things take time I'm gonna do some journaling you know write about my feelings and just like when I journal like I just I feel like people just like assume like you need to like have problems in your life to like journal about something but like that's not true at all honestly journal about like how you're feeling whether it's good bad whether you're sad angry like confused like i don't know it just really helps you like gain clarity on like and like hone in on exactly like what you're feeling because i know for me i like i have such a hard time talking about it out loud with people like I still like, even though I've gotten a lot better, the fear of like judgment and like I get embarrassed when I like talk too much about my feelings. I'm working on it, but so when I journal, it's just to myself, like no one, no one's reading it. It's like, there's no judgment. It's just like, it's like refreshing. So I'm going to do some journaling and this could be end up being like 10 minutes or like 30. Like I just never know. And I have all day, so... <laughs> We'll we'll see how long this goes, so yeah. Done journaling. Oh, okay. So I'm done journaling and what I journaled about I wrote a blog post yesterday that I haven't shared yet. <clears throat> that's like super that I'm like really nervous about sharing. And like the only reason I'm nervous is because it's like it's something I've never talked about before um, 
it's really like like deep raw and basically it's like about my past like relationship with food like while I was in university and I wouldn't go as far like I never had like an eating disorder I don't know why I'm doing that <laughs> but I guess like my relationship with food was was never healthy like until honestly like probably like a year ago even then like it it wasn't like the best like it's something that I'm still working on every day and like I don't think anyone has like the best relationship with food nowadays with like all the shit that's out and like all the social media and everything so I don't know it's something I've never opened up about so I was a little bit nervous so I journaled about that and basically kind of just like told myself like the reason you're nervous is because it is like vulnerable and sharing that is something is like could help other people so like it's something I need to do like I'm gonna share it probably next week like on Monday but yeah I just journaled about that so now what I'm gonna do is read like a bit of my book so I only like read until I just don't feel like it anymore so sometimes that's again like 30 minutes sometimes it's 10 it depends on like the time that I have but Marie Farlow for Leo, for Leo everything is figure outable here it is cute little bookmark happy mind happy life that's literally such a good book like reading first thing in the morning is it really primes your brain I guess I would say especially like reading self-development and like self-growth books I like don't know like what I did before I started reading them oh my god they're just like so good and like it really it's crazy like when you're going through something and you happen to like start reading something and you feel like it's like tailored to your situation like, I just told you how I was nervous about like posting a blog post that I just wrote and I just read a whole chapter on like fear and how like the more scared we are of a work or calling the more sure we can be that we have to do it therefore the more fear we feel about a specific enterprise the more certain we can be that the enterprise is important to us and to the growth of our soul I love that so yeah if you're like looking for a book to kind of like get you up off your ass and out of your own way I highly recommend this one now I'm gonna go get a coffee I'm like kind of embarrassed to go to the coffee shop again because I've like been there every day this week I still haven't looked at my phone so God. okay this is kind of funny but yesterday yesterday I like I've been on like quarantine so I'm not like technically supposed to like leave my area like I can leave my apartment to go to the grocery store go get a coffee but like I can't like go anywhere else so I've been like figuring out things to do and yesterday on YouTube I did a Latin dance workout cardio workout oh my god and my calves are like so sore today so I'm gonna go get my coffee and I'm like really debating against hot or iced I just don't know okay so I just picked up some bananas and coffee and do you like have a barista that you go to like every single day because I get so excited when I see my my girl like she's so cute and like whenever she sees me like she always just like smiles and she goes hi like even though we can't like have a conversation because I don't know enough Korean and she doesn't know enough English like it's just like it's so cute I just got like a hot I went with hot it was a little chilly out and I don't know I need to like stop buying coffee, but like these coffees are like a dollar fifty, and they're like huge, and like I get them for free at school. But like I go through these fixes, like I want to stop drinking caffeine, 
But then like I just like love the routine of having a coffee So I like go through these phases where I like don't drink it for a couple weeks and then I'll drink it like every day for two weeks like but I've decided Because like when you're on like certain phases of like your cycle <laughs> I don't know how I get into, into this, but like when you're on certain phases of your cycle, like you're not supposed to have caffeine. So like when you're menstruating or like in the luteal phase, which is like right before your period, you're not supposed to be like drinking. So like I'm in like the, I'm like ovulating right now. So like the first two phases, like I think it's okay, but like I'm going to try and like do it that way. But that's probably TMI. I'm ovulating right now. <laughs> and look at all the bananas. I know the plastic, but they're so cute, so little. Ugh. Oh, that's it. That's like my morning routine while I'm being quarantined right now. And I will like say what you're seeing on the news is like so much crazier than like what's actually happening. Like. Obviously, it's something to be like really cautious about and it you know I totally understand why why it like would cause like People worry like the news is just like a whole next level Like it reminds me of the I am legend movie like they're making it seem so crazy like the whole world's gonna end like and it's just, I think the fear of it is like worse than the actual virus itself um, I've been like reading into articles and like Seven of the patients who have recovered have said that it's not something that people should be that scared about. Obviously that depends on your age and I totally understand why people are being cautious with like grandparents and small children. But I will say that the news is really like spoon feeding you guys like a lot of crap. Like it's making it sound so crazy and it's like it's bad but like Korea is doing everything they can to stay cautious like not starting school until the 23rd like anyone that was traveling like myself has to stay in their apartment for 14 days after which is what I'm doing and I'm fine I should say that like <laughs> there's no symptoms so yeah so that's good so that's just what my morning routines looked like it's been actually like really nice to sleep in and like relax like last night was the first good sleep i had since i've gotten back from vietnam and it was like took me a week so i'm like kind of glad i didn't have to go right into school obviously this considering their circumstances like but whatever so yeah that's my morning routine while i'm being quarantined does that rhyme i don't know but I'm gonna drink my coffee. I should also add that I had like two huge glasses of water um, and my lemon water before I have this coffee. Like I try not to have this have a coffee at least like two hours after. Like I woke up at around nine and like I don't drink the coffee until like 11. Like I don't wanna like depend on it, but yeah. That's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment because I know they're so interesting. Let me know what you want to see. Like, I'm, I don't know, like, what kind of videos to post on here. Like, I don't really know what I want to use YouTube for yet. Like, what do you like watching? So just let me know. Okay.